morning. Good morning. Good morning. Call to order the meeting of the commission for Wednesday, February 12th, 2020. Uh, first, we'll see if there's any public comment. Does anybody have any public comment? Hearing none, we will proceed uh, to old business. We'll start with um, Joe Lynch and the executive director's report, please. Good morning, Good morning, commissioners. Good morning, Good morning Joe. Joe. Data and imaging units are up to date with entering. To date, they have processed 80,703 applications, of which 11,700 were paper. Data has proved 9,400 apps with another 2,300 to be proved. Data and imaging are continuing to prove all the applications. Corresponding units is advertising paper applications from 2019 general. They are prepping the poll books for the two th from the 2000. They are prepping the poll books for the 2014 general for destruction. So they have to take the plastic off from the floor. Documents is busy with the mailings, building street list districts, and sorting and citing applications. For the County Board of Elections, we have full versions of the absentee ballot applications in English and Spanish, as well as mail in ballot applications in English. They will also be available on our website by the end of the day. The Department of State should make available a Spanish mail in ballot application within the next next two weeks. We are currently accepting absentee and mail-in applications for the February 25th special election in the 195th district. Um, rep representative and the citywide April election for the primary election. The Department of State has made an online application available for absentee and mail-in ballots. You can find the online application at votespa.com. We currently have we currently have 17 absentee applications for the February special. There are 12 alternative, three civilian, one civilian overseas, and one military application. We have received one civilian ballot back. Absentee applications for the February special election are, are due Tuesday, February 18th. We are currently waiting for central duplication to finish our new absentee and mail-in ballot envelope design. Once we have a final version, we will get the design approved by the USPS to begin production. We are running ads this week in various newspapers announcing the primary election on the April 28th. We are running mobile ads next week in various newspapers pertaining to the February special election. And then also for the, uh, as far as the election, election board unit, we started, uh, Classes this past Monday, and so first first night there was 93. The second night there was uh, 42. I think we got rid of 28 election material boxes. Um, just be advised that the voting machine to be used for the special election in the 190th legislative district held February 25th will be available for inspection by you or your certified representatives. So the inspection for the voting machine warehouse for candidates or parties want to go see this machine. It'll be at the Voting Machine Warehouse at 4700 Wissahickon Ave, Building C. All right, and the time for that, time for that, I, I'm, I'm almost certain the time for that is 10 a.m., 10 or 11 a.m. I have to get clarification. I have to get clarification on that time. So. And that's it. That's it for us. Um, while the, the um, election board unit for our election activities, they, we've got all the requests for the uh, washer certificates, all but the 60th ward. We're still waiting for that ward to come in. Um, all the materials, like I said, are packed. They're out. We're taking them out to the seminars and distributing them as the judge of elections come in and pick them up. And that's it. Joe, a couple things. Did we uh, mail a postcard to all the voters in the special election? Uh, they are going to prepare those cards to send them out, yes. Now I have a question about the, uh, the online version of the mail-in ballot application that is available on the Department of State website. Is that available in Spanish? No, they're working on that. Okay. The, no, the, app, the online, the, the final version of the application is in, in, in English and Spanish, which we also have to send to a vendor to have print mass produ production done on that. As far as the online one, Garrett said it's just the English version as of right now. They're working on the Spanish version. Okay, so for us, that would mean that we, we can't 
can't put that application up on our website because we are required yeah, uh, by Section 203 of the Voting Rights Act to have everything that we produce in English and Spanish. Okay. So, so we don't need to um, talk, to the, yeah, we'll have to talk to the uh, solicitor's office about that before we make a decision on that. So the postcards, circle back, the postcards for the special are on the way out? They, they will be, yes. Uh, so, so what they, uh, Joe? Uh, I'd have to check with Rich from that downstairs. I'm not really sure because there was, there was a problem with the, the vendor. Um, but it'll be going out. I can let you know at the end of the day when, when they'll exactly go. Okay, so that sneak peek for uh, the machines at 4700 Wissett Hicken Avenue is 2 p.m. 4700 Wissett Hicken Avenue, Building C is 2 p.m. Um, yeah, so uh, I will find that out. I can text somebody right now. And then as far as petitions, um, people coming in, we had a few people come in during the week. Over the weekend, on Saturday, we had some people coming in. Uh, it's up to the commissioners. They want to bring, want us to bring some staff in. It's a good possibility that people might come in to uh, view petitions. You know, we have people on Sunday? Nobody came in Sunday. So even if we just bring in a handful or, or a couple of supervisors to do that, we do the best thing. Thank you, Joe. I'm sorry. I also I also reached out to the Department of State on the new registrations. Uh, I told them we need them, and she uh, Jessica Mathis said uh, we can get you 10 cases. I was like, 10 10 is not enough, but it's a start. And it's going to be a few weeks till we get our bulk shipment. So for now. We're handing out the registration with the 30 day window with a disclaimer saying it's a 15 day window. Okay. We're doing the best we can with yes. what we have. Yep. Anything else we can And that's it. Uh, Joe, can we just go back on the newspaper ads? Mm -hmm. uh, where is that going to take out ads? Uh, uh, that, the, the ad, what ads? Yeah. Or what papers? Uh, yeah, what paper? uh, I'll, I'll, I'll have to circle back to you on that one. All right? I'll find out. Because that's done, Garrett and Amy's going to do that, so I'll find out from that. Charlie Strowman. Good morning, Commissioners. Good morning. I have six Poland police request changes. Uh, just so everyone knows, on the 5th and 6th, old signs were posted in the community, and the old new Poland places and letters were mailed out on 2 5 to all the board workers and the board leaders. Noting of the request changes. So the first one I have the agenda is Ward 9, Division 9, from the Firehouse at 101 West Highland Avenue through Chestnut Hill Welcome Center at 8514 Germantown Avenue. They both said in 99, which is a nice change there. And that is due to construction. So it's moving half a block? Yes. Uh, I vote in favor. I vote in favor. The next two I would like to lump together is 2005 and 2010, going from 8th and Diamond Rec Center, which is under construction, into Midtown Parish, UMC, at 718 West Star. Uh, do we have a word of the Yes. Um, good morning. No, I have uh, just a, just to say that I'm happy that we could have a, a smoother uh, election, so people won't be confused on where to go and where not to go. We have early enough um, information so they can make the transition to the proper location for 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 voting. So Thanks. it won't be last minute. So I'm just happy that um, Charles Charlie. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. And. Um, to the commissioner's thank you. So, thanks for coming down. Thank you. Yes, we appreciate you and all your work. Thank you. I vote in favor. I vote in favor. Thank you. Next one I have on the agenda is Ward 29, Division 4, from the Charleswood Community Center, 1450 North 21st Street, to Charleswood Senior Tower, 1514 North 24th Street. That division was in there; it was under construction. We're just moving back to some construction. That was a request from Michelle Brown. I vote in favor. I vote in favor. 
Next one on the agenda is Ward 29, Division 7, Chargewood 1 Senior Apartments, 1425 North 23rd Street, to Chargewood Senior Tower, same place, 1515 North 24th. Request Michelle Bradley, and that's also moving back to the construction. I'd like to I just have a quick question. Um, um, it's so the old locations was an issue with overcrowding. Yes. Do you know how many divisions were there in that in the old location? Back then, then out before I got here. Do you know about the new location? The new location is is more than adequate. It's a it's a roomy space. Okay. I was told by Leroy that went after that it's more than adequate for the division. Okay. I vote in favor. And the last one on the agenda is Ward 59, Division 11, Albury Apartment Complex, Building 18, at 512 East of Bow Street, to the Mallory Rec Center at Brooklyn Johnson. And that was due to overcrowding, and Donna Reed made the request. I'm sorry, that was the overcrowding. Yeah, that was the overcrowding. I apologize, Mr. I'm going to And Mallory's just been redone, right? Yes. Yeah. I voted yeah, And that's all I have. Um, I just have one motion, and I would like to make a motion to direct the deputies to fill the newly budgeted positions. I second the motion. All in favor? Uh, aye. aye. Okay, commissioners, I got some more information. Yes, Jeff. So as far as the as far as the cars that went out, three I was out yesterday, so three thousand went out yesterday, and two thousand more should be going out tomorrow. As far as the cards, and as far as the advertisers. Or advertisement in the Inquirer, Daily News, El Sol, Aldea, Philly Gay News, Tribune, Legal Intelligencer, and the Philly Record. And we're trying to add the um, Philly Sun along with that. Uh, so it's only 5,000 total cards? Uh, well, so far 3,000, and then tomorrow 2,000. So that's what it says, only total 5,000 total. That's, that's what they said. It'd be, we send them by household? It's, yeah, it's right. not It's not every voter in a house. It's, it's household. So what is the total mail? It's, it, he's saying three. Yes, it's five. I'll confirm it with him. Yeah. So, correct me, is that enough to cover uh, every uh, eligible vote? I'll, have to, I'll, 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 I'll find out after this meeting. I'm sure. It's a given moment. That's what it is. That's what it is. They're, they're ID cards. Oh, they're I'm sorry. The three thousand were ID cards. Two thousand were ID cards. The cards you're talking about, like I said, those cards for they're the they're right now. They're not sent out yet. I know that there's an issue with the uh, vendor. So let's just leave it at that, and we'll we'll figure out what's going on with the vendor as far as getting those cards out. And it should be more than five thousand. And they usually go out around. They usually, it's, you don't want to do it too early. You want to do it like the the week like. The week before, you know, before the election, okay, so probably like next Thursday, it will probably go out as long as we got clearance from the vendor. Okay, so let's just get some uh, clarity. Yeah, I will. Uh, we have uh, a couple of constituents uh, from the 190 that they have concerns about. It. About where they vote? No, about just getting notice about the election. Right? Okay. We have constituents and things about that. So, right. And then, like I said, the, the ads in the paper there's also ads. All right, but I will find out. I'm sorry, I apologize for that. that. That was the ID cards, and Greg actually told me before I came up they were sending 2,000 more out tomorrow. So that was the ID cards. It wasn't the. Uh, no problem. Next Thursday should be. I would think. I would think better be. Thank you. Is there any more new business? I don't know. Hearing no more new business, meeting is adjourned. Make a motion to adjourn. Uh, so moved. Or, I second the motion. All in favor? Aye. Meeting is adjourned and call the chair. Thank you, everybody. Thank you.